Hello and today we're going to do simple integer subtraction in Visual Basic 2010 Express. So open a new project uh, or open an existing one and uh, call that whatever you want. Simple subtraction and it's going to be a Windows Forms application. So once it opens up you'll have a little window uh, and form one after the project has been created uh, and the suite of development tools to use. So if we click on the form as it just loads up for a minute uh, simple subtraction is very simple in Visual Basic so we can resize the form to however you like and we can go to the toolbox and we can add a label to our form and that'll be called label one and uh, we'll just put it in the middle of the form and um, text uh, we won't double click it the text sorry if we go to um, properties um, we can just set the text to Uh, label one, that's fine. Okay, so then we'll double click on the form window and we'll have this private sub called form one load. So upon loading the form, Visual Basic is going to do uh, execute any code that's in this sub. So firstly, we're going to define our variables dim uh, number one and number two. As integer and then we're going to go number one is equal to 10 number two is equal to seven uh, so we have established two variables uh, in the data type integers number one and number two which equal 10 and 7 respectively so now let's do our subtraction, our simple integer subtraction. So we can set the label one dot text to equal number one minus or dash number two. And what that'll do is that'll simply subtract number one from number two. So if we save all and uh, save, and then we debug our label that we have on our form should um, display the answer to number one minus number two which should be three so if we run the program we have form one and produced uh, at the label is three so that works so we can cancel that now what if we want to do some simple subtraction based on user input so to do that we are going to need to create two input boxes for the user to input some data so let's get rid of this code here go back to the form delete the label so to do subtraction based on user input we're going to go back to the toolbox we're going to need a button we're going to need a some input some form of input so for that we will use a text box there it is there and we're going to need two text box uh, <clears throat> for two different numbers uh, and you could add some labels to say number one number two provide some user instruction we're just going to go through the, the code that will make this work here today so double click on button one because um, this button um, will take the input in the two boxes and subtract them. Uh, so when button one is clicked, we're going to do the, the math. So we're going to click, double click on button one. It's going to go to private sub button one click. So upon uh, button one being clicked, it's going to run the code in this sub. Uh, so we're going to dim number one 
number two as integers, we're going to say that number one equals text box one dot text and number two equals text box two dot text and um, we're going to need another label sorry where our output will be so let's just quickly add that now and we'll put that in the middle there <clears throat> and then label one dot text is equal to number one subtract number two uh, so what this code will allow us to do is input two numbers into the two text boxes respectively press the button and it'll subtract the two numbers for us and do that simple subtraction and output the answer in label one so let's uh, run the program and take a look at what will happen so again I'll just use the same two numbers 10 and 7 and upon clicking button 1 this label should turn to 3 and there it goes so that is how you do simple subtraction um, using integers based on uh, variables and also user input so I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial check out the rest of my channel for more helpful Visual Basic Tutorials.